frustrated uh, character. Okay, uh, so I ask a question. Um, the questions are, let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. You know, we'll, we'll softball it. Do you remember when we first met? Hmm. Have we, is, I'm, because I'm a dumb baby. Is this a thing we've established in canon, or? Nope. Not as far as I know. Sorry, I want to read through the rules a little bit again, mm -hmm. only because, so. I guess technically I frame it, but also yeah, yeah. I don't have any goddamn ideas for this. So I was hoping to just sort of shift that off onto you. Um, <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um, I mean, when, like, how did you join the Cenotaph? What, what brought you from, you know, waiting tables to, or not waiting tables, but tending bar to... Um... I think... I mean, I think, like, it's not something that we've really touched on a whole lot, is, like, Tower's whole getting framed for murder thing. Mm -hmm. um, but I think they were tending bars. Uh, and... Like, you know, just doing stuff and then that caught up with them. They were in the broken bank and they had assumed that they wouldn't be affected really because mm -hmm. they were in that in the broken bank. Um and you know, we're not like super close together in terms of the broken bank and the cenotaph base, but they they were, you know, they were part of the circus. They were an off-worlder. Mm -hmm. uh, and so they, they saw a church and assumed that um, they could take refuge there. Hmm. Uh, Was this in the Morgan Bank or in Hollington? Uh, in Hollington, like okay. the Cenotaph's church. Gotcha. Uh, sorry. Um, and, like, I think... I think it was sort of like they, they kind of just like they were, they were a little put off by the weird uh proxy ghost moat mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but, yeah but you know they'd seen worse uh and i think i think it sort of like came about that they were just like staying there more than they weren't Mm -hmm. uh, they weren't paying any rent um, <laughs> and I think at some point it just came about that they had like experience in like not war zones but you know war zone adjacent mm -hmm. uh, situations and did you bring your mech the first time or I no, I, I think, I think one, I actually, um, if this is okay, I think one of the first things, like, the Cenotaph did as the Cenotaph was, like, we ended up going back to the town where, like, you know, the Cirque du Soldat moved around, but that's where they were, and they had kept that mech, and I think, like, you know, Tower's an infiltrator, I think they stole their mech back. <laughs> Um, the the Cirque du Soldat were uh, not surprised by that. No. In, in what universe? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Yeah. I love the idea that, that, uh, that Tower just sort of showed up like a stray cat and then just sort of stuck around. Yeah, I mean, that's Tower. It's very good. That's just their whole personality. <laughs> very good. Okay, so I ask a question now right mm -hmm. yeah we alternate okay 
Okay, yeah, I, I was making sure we were doing this right, because mm-hmm. I'm bad at games. Mm-hmm. Um, Is anyone good at games? Never. No. Um, do we want to try to clap uh, simultaneously? No. It's, do it's we want to try? It's a cool conceit to do in person, but I'm not super into it over stream. Okay, that's fair. Um... Yeah, so we can just agree that that thing is done. Um, hmm, I'm gonna pull up the faction list. Actually, that's a good that's a good move. Um, because I'm a responsible adult. <laughs> I'm a responsible gamer. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> the rarest of gamers. <laughs> Uh, Sorry, I'm bad at this. Uh How how do games? How do games? How do games? How do games? Do you remember when X died? Do you remember what you did to my friend X? What did they do to you? Do you remember what they did to my home? What you did to my home? Was that truly necessary? Do you remember the fight Mm -hmm. we had on X? Do you remember when we were ambushed by the X? Uh, do you remember when you destroyed my, my last mech? I think... Do you remember when Harrow left? <laughs> no, I don't. I know it happened. Um, I... I remember the funeral and I remember um, passing information to him and I remember him talking over the the comms and I don't remember what he said that entire evening after um, after the procession is just a blur to me I've, I've tried I don't remember I wish that it did. Mm. Sasha, you're a good gamer. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> no. It's, what I I, I'm just, I'm dumb. Uh, <laughs> no, so, take it. Damn. <laughs> I'm just having trouble figuring out how we should be like should these be scenes? Like should we play this out? Because I feel like it's maybe I think I think mm, within the reverie players may describe details from the past, engage in conversation, or narrate events in the scenes. You you hmm. Triggering it's a it's a the, the reverie is not necessarily a flashback. It sounds like it sounds like it is just a in, it, it can be, um, but it can also be conversation. So I could probably yeah. ask in return, how much do you remember of it? Did yeah, he say sorry. anything to you? I think. I remember less than I want to. I didn't think about it until, you know, it was just a day. It was just another thing we did. You know, we just, we did the funeral and it was all dramatic and the whole thing with the rites of the ascent and all that bullshit. And that's what sticks out. Uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't think about him leaving until he was left. Mm-hmm. And, you know, why the fuck did he leave? You know, I suspect, um, just thinking about it since, um, I've been trying to think of a, a reason that we would not have been as much adrift as, say, the raccoons were, 
and I can't come up with anything. Did he just get bored? Do you think? Because, you know, wouldn't put it past him to, to just have gotten bored with us. It's possible, you know. I, I mean, I, 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 I thought that we were friends, but I never really knew him especially well. I don't think. Yeah. I'm not sure anyone did. Yeah, I mean, seemed like he'd been planning it for a while, especially with the fucking road he went down on that. His last couple missions, the whole thing with the dragon, the second time, uh, with the dragon, like, I mean, I think it hit Keiko the worst. I think she was the closest to him, yeah. Yeah, just, what a dick. <laughs> what the fuck? Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Like, why? <sighs> Gross. Anyway, he's gone now, and he's never returned any of my calls, so I suspect for good. At least in, in as far as I'm concerned. We don't owe him shit anymore? If, if we do owe him shit, he's not collecting. So it doesn't matter. That's on him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. Alright. Um... And I, I kind of like the, the mental image of these being broken up by like tower climbing inside of things and like mm-hmm. I think it's a lot of uh, you directing tower because you know the actual mechanics of this, but you're also all burned up and tower is small and mm-hmm. squirrely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> squirrely is uh, is accurate. Um, so I think, yeah, I just I just like that mental image of like for us just chatting over like throat mics while towers are like in the fucking belly of the magpie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we're supposed to be hurting each other with these vignettes. Yeah. Okay. We need to be meaner. We gotta be mean. Yeah, we gotta be mean. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ray. I have to be mean to you now. Fuck. We gotta bully <laughs> it. I don't know if um. I can take it. <laughs> My delicate constitution. Mm-hmm. Um. Hmm. I think I think uh hopefully with the blessing of this cre- the uh the creator of this game we can alter the questions a little bit to be sort of more fitting. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Um and I, I'm very sorry uh, if not, I'm sorry, we're desecrating your game. <laughs> it's, I, I will say it's tough to do this with a, with an actual canon behind it. Actually, yeah. like, I was expecting this to be easier, but like, um. But, you know, I think, I think we can also, like, the cenotaph is sort of spread out enough that I think we can abstract out, like, us doing, you know, mm-hmm. little run missions in between things. Like, yeah. Our downtimes are long enough, usually, that I think there's room for us to just make shit up in between. Hmm. Uh, I like, do you remember what you did to my home? Was that truly necessary? Um, Of like, a modification that you made to the church? Hmm. That, Which like, one? You really, um, <clears throat> I think it might have been um either to the chapel 
or to the moat of proxies which which is more interesting to you i like the mode of proxies being a thing because like part of dredge's whole thing is that like they're trying to rehabilitate mm -hmm. or ends trying to nope that's mine that's you that's, that's you me. fuck <laughs> i'm stupid <laughs> too many pronouns too many no. pronouns <laughs> i'm sorry Ugh. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that makes sense. So, like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Come. Da, 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 da. I think it's like. Um. I think that the change that you made was like a change in routines, um, that matched your sleep schedule, but no one else's. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> and I think I think this is cued by um by there is absolutely definitely a proxy that that plays Reverie um at various points in the day. Um and it, it goes off um outside of the bar and, and I'm like, oh hey, do you remember when you put that at like three in the morning? What was that for again? What purpose did that serve? I... I don't know. I just... I couldn't sleep and... I... You know. I'm sorry. I'm... Reverie? You know... Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think... I think that's what it's called. I think that's... I think that's when I was going through my bread baking phase. Ah, uh, that would do it. And I think it was like, it was never very good bread. I always like got distracted and overproofed it. But, you know, I wanted to feed people. Mm -hmm. Y'all fed me when I first came in. I wanted to be able to. At least give a little bit back. If I can give some constructive criticism, <laughs> maybe not waking up everyone at 3 a.m. every day would have been a better exchange than getting to eat bread in a couple of hours later. I mean, probably. Yeah. Just a thought for the future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I I fixed it. <laughs> Side note, Tower did not fix it. Tower thinks they <laughs> fixed it. <laughs> Dredge shut it down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I think Tower like tinkered with it a bunch and then uh Dredge just sort of went out and did some mechanical stuff. Just just uh, did had a sit down, had a talk with that particular proxy yeah. like, hey, yeah. not three AM. Thanks. <laughs> I'm happy with that. I don't think that's a, precisely a scar no. to take. We gotta get meter. We're not we gotta get meter. Shit. I just think like I don't know that Tower has a lot to be mean about to Dredge. Dredge has a lot to be mean about to Tower. That's true. <laughs> but like Tower would absolutely never intentionally like say some shit <laughs> well maybe unintentionally say some shit yeah then. yeah that's what i'm thinking i'm just bad at that mm -hmm. it's not like dredge has a completely squeaky clean track record with the, with the rest of the squad either yeah shit <sighs> oh it our allies or with really anyone but possibly yeah. <laughs> like the one person we don't we don't have beef with who is the one person we don't have beef with again i think at least in, in the other direction yeah you've got beef with me but i don't have beef with you 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's unreciprocated Fun. beef. Buns can be asymmetrical. Yay! <laughs> beef, beef saver rules. Gotta love beam saber is a system that encourages bullying. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. I think I wanna. Are we saying that it's okay to sort of modify these questions a little bit? Yeah, I, I feel like, right? Like, these are good. These, these are a really good jumping off point. Also, now that I've actually taken the second to look at the questions for the next things, it really does seem like this is the space to air grievances. Like, this is the, yeah. this is that section of the game. So there's no reason to, to hold back, which I have been doing. So I can stop doing that. Ha ha. Yeah, no. Fuck me up. <laughs> uh, it is your turn, though. Shit, I need to think about it. Because, like... And I think I think for this I want to establish like a side mission if that's okay. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cuz I am big dumb baby. I'm sorry. I'm not I'm not good at gaming. <laughs> it's fine. Um Is this like a, a pickup mission? Is this like a... I think this was like the first mission we did after the Rites of the Ascent got kicked. Ooh. Like, because we had a big... We had like a... Like an in-game, like, six-month time skip there. We did, yeah. Where it was just like the, six, the, the three of us. I think... That's a good place to do it. Yeah. Do you remember the fight we had right after uh, Harrow left? And I think that was, um, I think it was like a little thing. I think like Coward like left some dishes in the sink and like was going to get to them in the morning or whatever, but they just forgot and it spiraled from little passive aggressive comments uh, into something a lot sort of meaner. Mm -hmm. Like I, I think it started with just like little passive aggressive things and then it eventually spiraled out from that. And I don't know exactly how that ended. How does how does Tower usually respond to conflict? Like when Tower gets angry, what does that look like? Or upset, I mean. I think I mean I think like part of me is inclined to say just based on like the theater kids I know that uh they are either extremely passive aggressive or they're like they just cry at everything mm -hmm. like they're an angry crier mm -hmm. um like especially with that thing uh that happened with like scarecrow or the zappy mm -hmm. uh thing like i think they just had like tears like ugly crying <laughs> while that was happening and yeah i think you know i think they, they get really big about it and they try to hide like they they they, they have very big feelings mm. uh and they they try to hide that and i think 
it never goes well. <laughs> um, yeah. That's a, a, a great combo. I think I do not get this way when I'm angry. I, I do the crying thing. Um, but I think that Dredge gets cold um, and mean. Um, like, I think at, at Yeah. Um. Games are hard. Games are really hard. Um, I have spent a lot of time um, training myself not to be mean. So, like, summoning it is 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 on command is hard. Um, yeah. Big mood. But I like I like the idea of. Um, Like, especially after the conversation that they had after, um, after Wander, um, being like, um, you are so intent, um, to make things right and you can't handle the little things. like this is this couldn't be lower stakes and I can't trust you not to fuck this up I think Tower agrees like they put their head down and they they nod and their face slowly goes red. Um, and I think there is like a week there and maybe that's what starts it where they just stop trying. Mm -hmm. Like, I think they've been going at it and going at it and just fucking up. Mm -hmm. um, because they're distracted and they're scared and they've they think they've they've like fucked up one of the only good things they had built for themselves after leaving mm -hmm. the Cirque du Soldat and I think it goes from like a frantic sort of a manic need to fix things to just sort of a despair for a little bit there. Like, I think there is a week or two where they just sort of, they hole up and they stop trying. Mm. Uh, and... I can't remember exactly um, what session they got their vindictive in, but I think it had been coming on for a while now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Is that a scar token for you then? I think so, yeah. Cool. Uh, and can you manipulate the tokens in the roll 20? I just want to make sure. Yes. I can Yay! <laughs> I'm a good gungeon master. Hell yeah. Even though I'm not the one facilitating this game. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, there's lots of different ways to facilitate, is the thing. And I'm very grateful that you're handling the roll 20. Um, was that your question or mine? I think that was your that question. Was mine. I think that was your question. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Um. God, sorry, there are sirens outside and I don't know how much of this is getting picked up. Oh, um, uh, it's a little bit, but it shouldn't be too bad. Okay. Um.
That's Tower's internal emotional state right now. Mm-hmm. I have I have two two gripes with Tower right now. Okay. Um, the first is obviously, um, like it's resolved percent value of resolved, but I'm still like you're still salty. I'm still salty, yeah, about uh, about Wander, and I'm still I am the Just sort of all of it. The the recent resurgence of it is um getting burned you, again yeah you went with um with scarecrow to um to pass the burden off to the bunch of saints granted a bad plan from start to finish but scarecrow went off script and you did nothing what the fuck happened I mean, there. I just, I. Froze up? Yeah. Like I always do. Like every time I fuck something up. It's because I freeze. And I thought I was getting better about it. I thought I was better than I had been. I thought I was a better friend, a better ally. And apparently not. And I'm back to square one. And I've fucked everything over, apparently. Do you know why you freeze? I think Tower knows why they freeze. They don't want to say it. Ah. <laughs> and I think they just sort of shake their head. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they sort of go back to tinkering for a moment and you can tell that they want to say something Mm -hmm. and they want they want to be able to give a clever retort or something they think would make them sound better than they are, but they freeze. Here's the thing. Um, we're a squad, right? Um, and we have to depend on each other, and sometimes that means um, you know, calling each other in, keeping each other from making stupid mistakes. Um, I mean, what that means is that your opinion, your concept of what's happening is not only valid, but vitally important. It, it is not a case of, you, you know, if you're, if you're not going to speak up when you're in the room, why are you, why are you in the room? I mean, if we're supposed to keep each other in line. Why'd you let me fuck everything up? Why do you let why did you let me freeze when it, when you were the one in harm's way? Can I be in every place at once? Can I be in your head? No, but you seem like you want to be. You seem like you're asking me to be in everyone else's head. You're asking me to keep track of every situation. Why can't... You know, you're being a hypocrite here. Why Why do you expect me to do what you can't? I'm not asking you to... I'm not asking you to be the voice of reason in every situation. I'm asking when you are in the situation when you have the opportunity to act that you do. You know, it's, it's, 
It's easier said than done, and sometimes when we act, we make stupid choices. And very pointed glare. Uh huh. Um. Yep. That we do. Do you think that's where we cut? Yeah. I think I, being mean. <laughs> I think I could take. I think I could, I could take something from that. You don't have to. Like, if I'm not being mean enough, I could be meaner. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> no, it like it makes sense, right? Like, sort of um, pushing on the fact that like Dredge is not a, a leader. Um, yeah. Dredge is just the gay with the idea. Um, we don't even have a gay that can make phone calls. No, not anymore. Um, no. I guess. Scarecrow's been helping. Yeah. Scarecrow's yeah. um, made some calls. That's been helpful. Um, Scarecrow's? Scarecrow's an honorary straight. <laughs> wow! <laughs> rude! What the fuck? <laughs> we, bully her, he, we bully her even in her absence. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, uh, when both... Pl- uh, after each player possesses at least one scar token, discuss whether you wish to conclude this game. When both players agree, each person voices their pain to the other in a moment of vulnerability and weakness. After both of you have spoken, state, say no, no more and begin the next game. Listen. Uh, sorry, my Wi-Fi cut out. I oh, didn't no. hear what you said there. Oh no! It was just I was just reading the rules for the end, ending the game. Um. Um. Do you think we're done though? Uh if you would like to, if you have another question you you want to ask, you you are welcome to. Yeah, that was more for you. <laughs> I think you're the one with more baggage. <laughs> um. I think I've drilled or- down to the to the core of it. Um. Which is, you know, um, <sighs> Harrow leaving surprised everybody, and his absence sort of threw into stark relief what is missing in this in this squad. Um, And I have done my best to step up and fill the duties that Harrow left untended. Um, But (sighs) Tara, I need you to understand that I'm not better than you are. I'm not smarter. I'm not wiser. I don't know what I'm doing. I am doing my best. And what I had hoped was to to find myself in a squad of people who I could trust and who were, you know, had as much say over what was happening and what happened next as I did possibly more god I would love for anyone else to step up but that's not the case I I mean you say you're not better than me, but I mean, you know, I keep, I keep screwing this up. I keep fucking this up and I keep getting people hurt. And I, you know, I I think I can't.
I can't keep getting you all hurt, and I don't know. If you're not better than me, why is it always me that fucks it up? Why is it... Why is it always my blunder? Well, critically, it isn't. Um, after both of you have spoken, say no more and begin the next game, which is Reverse Part 2. I think we should take a quick break. Yeah. That's my opinion. That's, that's my onion. Um, I think that's a good place to pause. So back in like five minutes? The Austin speaks. Ha, 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 ha.